Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Sai Process. In today's video, we will discuss about the pause data check. So pause data check feature in Odoo allow you to create and manage the check for the future date. So actually you can present the check into the bank with an exact date and Odoo also gives you a reminder when the due date approaches. And you can actually reconcile your check with the bank statement also. So let's see how can we manage this pause data check in Odoo 17 accounting module. In organizations, managing payments through banks and cash transactions are pretty straightforward in terms of maintaining records. However, handling the check payments could be a task, especially when customers share a pause data check. A pause data check typically signifies a payment which is scheduled for a future date and customers issue such check with a specific date which allow a check to be cashed or deposited only after the mentioned date is passed. So handling past data check could be a bit tricky, but with Odoo's version 17, it is manageable. Now let's go through a step-by-step -step process to manage these check. First, we need to create a journal. So for that, we can just move on to the accounting module. And in the configuration menu, we can find the journals over here. So here we can see all the journals created in the system. And here we have already created a journal called check so here you can see that uh, to create uh, the check or a journal you can just click on new button and you can just fill out the details so the journal name is given as check over here and here you can see that there are different types of um, journal such as the sales which is used for uh, the customer invoices purchases is used for windables and uh, Cash and Bank's journal is used for payments and miscellaneous is for operational related purposes. And we need to define the journal type as bank as it is used for payments. Now um, the journal is created and uh, here you can see that we have provided the short code as PDZ. So as you just create a journal uh, check and uh, uh, save this, Accounting information such as bank account, suspense account, profit account and loss account will be automatically configured over here. So if you want to know the type of the bank account, you can just get into the internal link and here you can see that the type is given as bank and cash as we are just managing with the payments. And under the suspense account, you can find the bank suspense account and it is uh, of current essence. And uh, you can also find the profit account uh, that is uh, we have easy profit account as cash difference gain. So it has got the type as income. And uh, as you just move on to the lows account, here you can see that cash different lows. So as you just move on to the type, you can see that it comes under the expense account. Now we just need to uh, talk about or uh, define the payment methods and the outstanding payment on incoming payment um, with the uh, incoming payment tabs as well as in the outgoing payment tabs. So under uh, the incoming payment, you can see that the payment method is manual and uh, the account that we are just going to use is a PDZ receivable. So if you want to uh, get into the internal link of this to know the type that we have used over here, you can uh, see that we have just given it as current asset. Now let's back to the uh, yeah incoming payments and uh, uh, let's move on to the outgoing payments. Here also we just need to define the payment method which is manual. And here you can see that we have just given the outstanding uh, payment account as a PDZ payable. And it has got a type as current as, as it itself. Or you can set it as liability also. And uh, I have just given it over here. Now the next step is that we just need to create a, yeah, a customer invoice for this to deal with the payment. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create a new invoice by clicking on new button where you can just fill out the details of the customer. So my customer is John Lee Cooper. So I'm going to choose my customer over here by setting uh, the invoice date as uh, today and I'm going to set uh, the future date over here. So we know we are just dealing with the posted post data check and uh, we know post data check uh, will have a date with the future date and I have given the future date over here. And uh, you can also fill out the details of the products and all. So I'm going to choose a product as customizable test where I just need to make the change in price and it has got the price as 1000 over here. Later on, I'm going to save this. And once I have saved this, you can see this invoice is currently in its trap state and we just need to pause this invoice. To pause the invoice, you can just click on confirm button so that uh, the invoice will be moving from its trap state to the paused state. Okay. 
now what we have to do is uh, uh, you can just move on to the configuration at not configuration you can just move on to the reporting sections and under the partner ledger you would be able to find uh, the uh, transactions that is created for the partner so here uh, the partner is John Lee Cooper right so here you can uh, see uh, the amount uh, that is reflected for John Lee Cooper so if you want to open this you can open that and find all the details over here okay so currently you can see the invoice is created with the account as well as the invoice date and the due date as well as the amount to be debited now here we are just going to um, move on to the aced receivable okay so this amount is to receive right so here you can see that under the aced uh, receivables you can find the john lee cooper over here with the amount and all and now we just need to create the payment for this in order to create the payment you can just move on to the customer um and uh, choose the payments over here and uh, i'm going to uh, create a new payment where you can just set the amount as thousand and the customer is john lee cooper and we have to choose the payment type as receive as we just want to receive the amount from or uh, the check right so um you can set the uh, partner over here that is the customer that is john lee cooper so i'm going to choose my customer over here and uh, here you can see that uh, we have just given the date so we have to change the date and set the date into the future date as well as we also just need to give the uh, memo over here so i'm going to give the memo as pdz over here later on we are just dealing with the check right so we also need to change the journal over here as check later on i'll be saving this and we just need to pause this payment so let's click on confirm so that uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have uh, just posted this uh, entry and uh, here you can see that now the reference number has just turned into PPDZ and the reference number is also shown over here and if you want to find the journal entry you can also find the journal entry and under the PDZ receivable you can see that uh, the amount comes under the debit side we know um, PDZ receivable is as a type uh, as, as it increases it will be marked under the debit side and under the account receivable you can see that the asset is just decreasing so that it marked under the credit side and if you want to find the payments you can also find the payments from here and uh, uh, if you want to just look forward with the payment matching you can also find the payment matching over here okay so if you just unfold this you can see the pdz as well as its corresponding invoice okay and here you can see that one of the amount is shown in positive and the other amount is shown in uh, negative so um, here we can uh, say that the amount will be deposited into the bank in a future date or once that date is closed and uh, once it's deposited the net amount will be uh, turning to zero right so here you can see the pdz amount is uh, just turned into uh, minus a uh, thousand and the invoice amount is also shown over here so as we have a calculation with that the total or the residual amount will just turn into zero over here now like again let's move on to the reporting and under the partner ledger you can find uh, the pdz that is reflected over here by after creation of the um the payment and you can find the amount uh, comes under the credit side as the amount is just moving out of the bank right and uh, now uh, as you just move on to the aged receivables here also we can see the reflection and uh, let me just uh, unfold those and here you can see the amount uh, that is uh, affected uh, with all the details and on so here you can see the um, date everything and with the total amount and all now we just need to reconcile the amount right to to do with the reconciliation we can just move on to the dashboard and here we can find uh, the journal that is created so currently you can see the check uh with the total amount as well as the payments and all so if you want to find the payments and everything you can just move on to the uh yeah payments and here you can see that currently there are two checks and the total amount is reflected over there okay so these are the amounts and if you want to make reconciliation we can also do the reconciliation process so to do the reconciliation process we know first we just need to create uh the new transaction over here which means uh, we just need to uh, set the date everything over here so i'm going to choose the uh, amount over here as a uh, thousand as well as you can set the date and uh, 
here you can also provide uh, the label so i'm going to set the label as ship over here and later on you can also just fill out the details of the partner so i'm going to choose a partner as john lee cooper afterwards i'm going to save this so that a statement will be uh, created over there now you can just move on to uh, the bank and here you can see that uh, we have just selected the yeah um journal i mean um i mean uh, the statement not the journal the statement and you can also find uh, uh, the um, payment that is uh, created over here now uh, you can do the reconciliation process okay so we have used that and click on validate button so once it's matched uh, the payment will be done and you can see that after reconciliation we know the payment will be moving to the bank and that's all how we just deal with the uh, yeah um, managing of the pdc as the payment is received through the check the payment is done and we have uh, receive the check but actually it is not received in our accounts hence the payment received in the company only reflects after the bank reconciliation okay so currently we have just done with the reconciliation and um, you can see the pay it's it is in its paid state now the check that are supposed to be deposited in the future are named as the past data check okay so with the help of odoo's accounting application we may get an effective solution for managing past data checks in odoo so you can actually check the status of the check as well as you can also make reconciliation process of your check with the bank. And that's all about dealing with the post-dated check in Odoo 17 accounting module. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.